day. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Club Junkie Podcast. Hopefully you're having a great week. It's another Thursday morning, and uh, yeah, I don't have a ton today, but uh, before we get into what I do have, let's let you know this episode brought to you by Team Titleist. And hey, listen, we're excited to share with you guys exclusive opportunities from Titleist, but to be a part of them, you have to join Team Titleist. Team Titleist gives you access to opportunities like prototype testing, special events, limited edition gear from Titleist, and so much more. Sign up and join us on Team Titleist at www.titleist.com forward slash Team Titleist, all one word, Team Titleist. So go check that out. I actually just went in and like updated my profile. I guess when I signed up, I didn't fill everything out uh, that I that I thought I did. Uh, so I actually just went in yesterday and uh, and filled that out and got uh, everything everything updated. So I am uh, I'm ready to go and. Uh, yeah, I've been, uh, been a member for a little while, just unfortunately didn't realize my profile was not completed, but uh, that is done now. So it's uh, <clears throat> it's been a, a busy week, uh, a busy week unfortunately with, with, well, with some golf uh, last week. I didn't play in my league, um, I expected, or well, I was hoping to, uh, but I unfortunately was, was traveling uh, last week, so um, I can't unfortunately talk about what I was doing yet. Um, a lot of people have guessed, and I think a lot of people know where I was, but uh, uh, can't talk about it yet. Uh, just a, we're we're a few weeks away from being able to uh, unload all that information on uh, on what I was doing, and then uh, yeah, just so I didn't play my league, didn't play last week, and I literally I, I red eyed home. I was in Carlsbad. Uh, I left Thursday morning, uh, red eye fl- red eye Friday night home. Landed in Detroit at about like. Man, was it five forty something like that? Uh, by the time I got my my golf bag and got my you know took the shuttle back to my car and all that stuff, uh, drove home. I think I got home right around um, was it seven ish something like that. It was probably right around seven. Uh, slept for a couple hours and then uh, we had stuff going on. So we had uh, some family stuff. The old uh, the old street block party uh, had that going uh, on Saturday. So after I woke up. Got ready for that, and then uh, Sunday had a little uh, get together with uh, my my wife's family. So it was a busy weekend, uh, but not uh, not a whole lot of golf. But I did uh, I did hit some balls, did a uh, uh, a fitting, uh, and a few other things. So excited to talk about that um, in a couple weeks. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, just uh, not quite ready yet. But <clears throat> but yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't played a ton. Uh, I, I literally I think the last time I played eighteen was. Um, <clears throat> back of the old uh, the, the 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 guy the golf outing uh, that I talked about uh, last or last week or something like that um, that was the last time I played so kind of unfortunate uh, I did hit some balls yesterday in my backyard uh, I got my uh, I I had a a big uh, I I mean I have a net that I hit into um, I've got a a full swing kit um, I have a Mevo Plus, but I actually just took that to the office to uh, a guy who wanted to try it uh, in the office, so I brought it back uh, into the office um, just the other day. But um, I was fortunate enough that with the Rocket Mortgage, uh, my old buddy Ryan Brath was in town, and he brought me back my uh, my my mat that uh, that he was using uh, of mine. I didn't have any use for it at the time, so let him borrow it. And then uh, shortly after, COVID struck, and <laughs> he wasn't able to uh, get into the or he wasn't able to really drive into the U.S. for uh, for quite some time. So. Um, he was in for the rocket. It was one to good to see him. To uh, yeah, he brought back uh, my my mat. So I was out actually hitting a few balls in the backyard, just trying to put together what any resemblance of a swing, and uh, it didn't go great. I was I hit a few good shots here and there, but overall, it just anytime I'm kind of like on a mat, kind of driving range style, or whatever. I just the, there's just zero tempo. Everything's a thousand miles an hour. Everything is hit it as hard as possible, and you know, it's just that that never bodes well for uh, for trying to do anything. So I need to uh, you know bust that thing out and just do like some drills and stuff. Try to get uh, some things corrected, and then uh, I'm playing tonight uh, in the league, <clears throat> barring any other strange circumstances. Playing in the league tonight, and uh, I've got uh, a handful of stuff to take out and play. I'm pretty excited. I've got uh, high toe three wedges. Um, Tacomo irons, uh, the new 101 tees. If you're not familiar with Tacomo, uh, they are a kind of direct-to-consumer brand that uh, I think has now two or three sets of irons available uh, out right now, and then I think they have uh, another one coming uh, shortly that's on their site. So 
Um, they have the 101, which is their kind of uh, uh, game improvement, multi-piece, uh, you know, foam-filled uh, kind of iron. Um, and then they have a 101T, so the T kind of a, a, a more tour iron, a little less offset, a little smaller package. Uh, and those are the ones that uh, that are pretty pretty new. So I've got a set of those. They're kind of uh, a little bit, you know, in between 770, 790, uh, P770, P790 from TaylorMade. I would say they look a little bit in between there. I think they're a little longer heel to toe than the than the P770. Uh, I think they're a little uh, slightly bigger, but then they're not quite as big as, say, the 790. Uh, so those uh, I have to take out. Like I said, high toe three wedges. Um, and then, do uh, have anything else to take out? I, uh, not at the moment. <laughs> so those are the two big things uh, to get out there and uh, and and try on, a, and I'll have those out uh, this evening. So that'll be exciting. Uh, the I, I hit a little bit of the uh, Tacoma irons, uh, the 101 T's outside uh, on the mat, and they feel pretty good. They they are very similar to 770s in terms of feel. Uh, so if you if you like the 770 feel, um, these 101 T's are, are are pretty similar at least out there on a the mat. Uh, hitting a Kirkland ball, we'll see uh, how they go uh, out on the course. But uh, but they look good. Um, they don't have a ton of offset. I know I've seen some other kind of either pro irons, tour style irons uh, that are kind of in this category from from the direct consumer. And I think these are are one of the better looking ones. I think they really did you know make a tour more more tour looking iron. They did get a lot of the offset out of it. So it's uh, I'm, I'm excited to try them. We'll see how they go. Uh, they've got the new KBS Tour Light uh, shaft in them. So they should uh, should be pretty good. I've, I've hit that shaft. I've got actually I've got that shaft on my P770. Um, I think my 770s have the X Flex ones, uh, and these have stiff. So similar, but uh, just slightly different. So I'm excited to hit those. And yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna. Uh, like I said, I've got the so we got irons, wedges, and then uh, you know in terms of what else is going in the bag, um, I gotta see if we're playing the front or the back. I haven't been to league in two weeks, so I don't even know if we're playing the front or the back nine or what. Um, and then that'll determine if I go seven wood or hybrid, uh, and then driver wise, we'll pro it's probably going to be um, the Rogue ST head, uh, the Rogue ST Max LS uh, with the uh, Ventus TR Red. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a try. Um, like I said, in the, it, it, the thing's a killer in the Stealth Plus, um, but let's try uh, uh, the Rogue ST Max LS head and see where we go from there. So. That'll be and then putter wise, I don't know. I'm, I was kind of messing around with the old. Um, <clears throat> I bought some, uh, I bought some new, uh, some new nail polish for my paint fill collection, and uh, I pulled out the Toulon Chicago, uh, the 2022 model, and just was kind of putting around the, on, on the floor over here. So I might, uh, might, might break that thing out. It hasn't been, hasn't been used in a while. So uh, I think it deserves, uh, maybe deserves a little uh, run um, this year because the year is unfortunately for us Detroiters getting a little short. Um, which is scary, but uh, but yeah, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, playing the league tonight, like I said, I haven't been there in two weeks, which is unfortunate. I hate missing that many weeks uh, in my league, but, you know, work calls, uh, golf outings call, I mean, whatever it is. So I've uh, <clears throat> unfortunately just not been able to, to make it the past two weeks, but I'll be there tonight again, <clears throat> barring any crazy circumstances. Um, <clears throat> I also want to say, excuse me, it's early in the morning. I'm doing this at like 6.30 in the morning. Um, I also want to say thank you to everybody yesterday who followed along with the old Q&A on Instagram. Uh, I do a little Q&A through my stories uh, every, I try to do every Wednesday. Doesn't always work out. I know I missed a handful of weeks recently, but uh, if you go to at Club Junkie Pod uh, on Instagram, uh, I'll throw some, uh, I throw it up there and say, hey, ask me any questions. And uh, usually we get some uh, some pretty cool ones. So um, a lot of questions about people wanting to buy my my Betnardi putter, my BBAW. Right now, it's not going anywhere. Um, it was the one I used in the uh, in my golf outing. It's still my gamer. Uh, if you say you know you're going to play, I guess any type of serious event or whatever serious thing, it's my gamer. So that isn't going anywhere. Um, but I know I've had a few people ask about buying it, and like I said, it's probably not going anywhere. At least not going anywhere this this year. Maybe when the season's over. We'll see what happens, and you know, there's always something new coming down the line, so <laughs> it may uh, may be replaced uh, at some point. I mean, it's going to be replaced at some point. Nothing in my my bag seems to stay, but uh, but yeah. So that uh, I got a few questions about that. A lot of questions on uh, you know the Ventus TR stuff, um, which is pretty cool. Um, the Ventus Red TR is still, like I said, going. Uh, like I said, hitting a few balls last night on 
you know, on my mat, my net. Uh, that Venice TR uh, Stealth was was really really good still. Um, <clears throat> so good time there. And then uh, yeah, today like I said, it's probably gonna be a little shorter episode. I just you know like I said, I've got a lot of stuff to hit. I just haven't had the time in the past two weeks to really get out and test a bunch of stuff. So um, I'll get more into stuff next week. Uh, but this week I, I really only got um, yeah. I mean look, I really only got one thing to talk about for the most part. Uh, and then yeah. That's pretty much all I got. So, uh, the one thing that. Hey, what's up, everybody? Before we get into the podcast today, just may- wanted to remind you to make sure you go onto Instagram at the Club Junkie Pod, uh, at Club Junkie Pod on Instagram, my Instagram account, and sign up to win your very own Ventus TR red or black shaft. Uh, it, you can pick Ventus TR red, Ventus TR black, your choice, your choice of weight, your choice of flex. All you got to do is be following Fujikura Golf. Follow Club Junkie po- uh, Pod and also tag three buddies that you're going to hit it by when you get your brand new TR shaft of your choice. So it ends tomorrow. So get signed up now and get, have good luck at winning your Ventus TR. Uh, the one thing that I get, did get to mess around a good amount with, uh, which I never, I didn't really expect. This wasn't something that I actually, like ever was like looking to uh, to to get this thing or or buy it or whatever. But um, you know, I know that. Uh, a lot of people are on the course, kind of uh, hit or, you know, they've got opinions on music, whether you listen to music, you don't. Uh, myself, personally, I'm, I am I don't mind listening to some music. I mean, I can go either way. I don't have to listen to music necessarily, but um, I also don't mind uh, if somebody wants to play some music or if I want to play some music, whatever. Uh, I'm good either way. If I'm on the range, I'm a headphones guy. You know, I'm, I'm, I've got headphones in, I'm listening to music. Um, just so I can kind of drown out whatever's going on on the range. You know, people are there for kind of a social thing, hanging out with some buddies and, you know, doing whatever. I don't have to listen to it. Um, I can just throw my headphones in. But on the course, uh, I like to have a little bit of music going and, and nothing crazy loud or, or crazy wild, but I like having something in the cart as you drive along, um, kind of to listen to either while you're waiting to uh, to tee off or waiting on a shot or um, just driving to your ball. I like having some music. Um, it doesn't have to be a thousand decibels. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, crazy uh offensive you know heavy metal or rap or whatever like it's just you know i'm just good with listening to whatever so i'm and i'm pretty pretty open-minded with what i listened to my my playlist uh two weeks ago was uh, was pretty diverse i think it had some uh a lot of the top you know top hits from the countryside the rap side the rock side the whatever i mean i had a little of everything um and that was uh you know, something I had. So when I went down there, I brought two, I have two Bluetooth speakers specifically for golf. I think as a family here, my wife and I, we have like, God, we have way too many Bluetooth speakers. But when I went there, I've had the Bushnell Wingman. Uh, I've had that for a while. Uh, I do not use it for the GPS side. Uh, I actually lost a little button like the second week I owned it. Um, And then you can go online and buy one really easily. And I think they're pretty cheap, but I just don't use it for that. Uh, I've got my either my laser rangefinder or I'm, you know, messing with like the ShotScope uh, Pro LX or something like that. So I've always got uh, or messing with Arcos or whatnot. I've always got something that I'm uh, that I'm got you know something that, that's for distances or shot tracking or whatever. So I just don't use the GPS on the on the Wingman. It's strictly a speaker, and I've liked it. I've had it for a couple of years. Um, the magnet on it works really well. It's got a really strong magnet with kind of a rubber coating when you slap it onto the cart. Uh, it stays there really well, so I've, I've enjoyed it. I think the sound quality is really good. I mean, it's basically a JBL speaker uh, with a magnet, which is, uh, and I've, I've got a JBL speaker at home uh, that I really enjoy. This one, I think uh, the sound quality on it is really good. Um, and then uh, I actually was playing in an, a charity outing. Uh, I want to say, was it last year? Yeah, it was last year, um, and they had a... Uh, a par three where they had uh, a woman off the Symmetra tour who you got to basically, if you paid, it was high. I don't remember what it was. It was either 25 or 50 bucks. It might've been 50. I think it was like 50. Um, if you paid 50 bucks, you basically had to, she hit a shot, you hit a shot close to the pin. Uh, you get, uh, you, you, you could win a, an amp caddy, which, uh, if you don't know, amp caddy is a Bluetooth speaker kind of designed specifically for golf. Um, but you basically uh, hit a shot, and um, if you beat her, you get uh, you know you get, you get uh, a Bluetooth speaker. Or maybe you got entered into a Bluetooth speaker. There were a couple to win, uh, something like that. I don't remember the exact uh, thing because again, it was uh, a year ago. But uh, for the most part, she's a very good player, and <laughs> you had to uh, 
you know, had to hit a shot closer than her. So we went up, and uh, my group, uh, I think just my buddy and I, I don't think my wife did, or, or his wife, because we were kind of playing uh, the four of us, two couples, uh, but I think just my buddy and I uh, did it, and one, thankfully, she uh, she had kind of a poor shot. I, don't, I think she barely made it on like the right side of the green. Um, it was one of the probably worst shots of her day, um, even though uh, I heard somebody else say she missed the green later on, and uh, and I think they won one of these as well. But um, yeah, but I, I actually hit a great shot, hit to like six feet, and I um, uh, hit a really good shot. It's probably one of the better shots of the day. So uh, I beat the pro, and uh, I got myself an, an amp caddy. Um, now, the interesting thing with this was that uh, I got it, and then, or I won it, and they, you know, they took down all your information, whatever, and then I never saw it for a while. I kind of forgot about it, because I just didn't, I mean, I didn't need it, um, so I kind of forgot about it, and then uh, my buddy, who uh, kind of like runs the, uh, the the outing that we do, sent me a te an email or a text or whatever, and was like, hey, did you ever get that amp caddy? And I was like, no, like, now that you mention it, uh, I have not, I'm going to, you know, whatever. And uh, so he put a call in, whatever, and here it is, and it showed up. So, uh, yeah, if you're not familiar, Amp Caddy, they, uh, like I said, they're a company that makes uh, kind of Bluetooth speakers, and I think they also make a phone mount uh, for golf carts. And the biggest thing they have, uh, you know, it's a small square speaker, nothing kind of crazy. It's got some, uh, you know, beveled edges. It's, you know, a little smaller than your hand. I mean, it's not super huge. Um, and then I think it's, what do, they, what do they say on the site? Does it give a size of it? Um, I guess they don't give an actual size, but it's not it's not too big. It fits in your golf cart or your golf bag pretty easily. You can slide it in a pocket. Um, but the biggest thing that it has is an adjustable clamp uh, on the on the one end that you use a little screw system, and it extends and closes, and it's kind of rubber lined, so it grips a golf cart uh, roof support pretty well. You can also put it on like a push cart, uh, basically anything that you can kind of screw this clamp system onto. And uh, so basically any type of bar, or, you know, whether it's square, whether it's round, um, it'll fit uh, pretty much on there. I actually uh, mounted it, uh, I, mount, I mean, I mounted it typically like most people would on the front support, you know, next to the windshield uh, for most of the the round or most of the, I, I, so like I said, I had two speakers. So the rounds I use this, I mounted it to the, the front windshield support. <coughs> Excuse me. And then our, our last day uh, up there at uh, the old Saragua, I actually mounted it kind of up and behind into the roof because it was supposed to rain. And I mean, this thing is, uh, they listed, I don't remember what exactly these things mean, but it is um, IPX7 uh, waterproof. So I think it's like splash proof, rain proof, you know, if it rains a little bit. Um, so I mounted it actually like up and behind, uh, like behind my head. Like So there was a, the way the bars went. And every golf cart's like slightly different on, on where you will be able to mount it. But I was able to mount it kind of up and behind my head. Um, so it was kind of a little bit out of the rain just to kind of protect it a little bit. Um, so I did that and then, uh, you know, had it mounted uh, on the typical fashion, uh, you know, the rest of the round or the, the previous round uh, before it. So <clears throat> overall, uh, you know, it's it's pretty good. Like the mounting thing is pretty cool. I'm going to try it tonight on my push cart. Uh, I didn't even think about doing that before, but it definitely uh, has that ability. And then also... Uh, you know, with that clamp, it does have a rotating part as well, so you can kind of mount it whichever way you need to. Um, so it's got kind of a, a rotating uh, section on it that you can kind of tilt it and bend it to wherever you need it to be, uh, which is kind of nice. The All the points on it, so you can, you know, like I said, rotate. There's a little arm. It has a bunch of different ways to rotate it. All those are have pretty decent resistance to it, so it stays in place pretty well. Uh, I did notice that the clamp portion, I mean, as much as it's plastic, you do need to crank it down like <clears throat> a decent amount to get it to stay exactly where you want it. Um, I, I found the first uh, round that I put it on, uh, we were going through and it kind of slid down and, and caught the the half of the windshield and, and stopped it from sliding down anymore. Um, I noticed it after probably like four or five holes that it, it slid down a little bit, uh, but I kind of popped it back up, gave it another like, you know, quarter turn or so. Uh, and then it never moved. So you, you do have to tighten it down a little more than I felt 100% comfortable with just because, you know, being all plastic, I didn't want to break anything or, uh, you know, snap anything off. But the mounting side, pretty versatile. Uh, you can put it a lot of different places uh, and you can adjust, again, the speaker direction uh, for wherever you want it. Um, I do have to say that is one kind of nice feature I like over the Wingman is that you can direct the speaker 
where you want so you can kind of direct it straight into the cart which is what I do uh, but if you wanted to uh, you know mount it in a way where you could you know park next to the green shoot it at the green while you're putting and all that uh, you'll be able to kind of hear your music uh, a little better out there um, the the wingman is great I mean the sound quality is phenomenal but you, it's harder to mount that way uh, it kind of shoots a lot of the sound up the sides of it so depending on which way you mount it in the cart uh, you're either going to hear it on the green or you know tee box or whatever or you know it may be a little more muffled uh, in those locations because it's not quite as directional not quite as easy i mean you can kind of move it around on the on the on the roof support beams uh, and find kind of your best way but this one's definitely a little more versatile if you really want to aim the uh aim the the sound towards a specific spot um the sound quality is really good it, it's actually really solid i'll give the slight edge to the wingman uh, in terms of overall sound quality, but this thing's pretty good. It's got decent bass. Uh, the highs are decent. I mean, I'm no audiophile or anything like that, so I don't really can't speak to, you know, exactly all those things. But uh, you know, in terms of you know, highs, lows, mids, whatever. Uh, but it does have like kind of like a little. It looks like a little subwoofer thing on the back, uh, and then on the front, it's got a typical speaker with a grate that covers it. Everything on it is kind of like rubberish uh, feeling. So uh, if you do bump it or, you know, bump it against something or, uh, you know, hit it with a club accidentally as you're pulling a club out of the bag or something like that. It looks like it should hold up pretty well. Um, and then the back side uh, also has kind of this uh, flap that you can pop open that has uh, your charging port, which is USB-C. Uh, and then it has also a micro SD slot, which I guess from reading, and nothing says it on their website, but I'm assuming you could load a micro SD card with a, you know, a playlist and play it there. Uh, if you're maybe at some... Uh, resort where you're not really going to have great phone service um, it's got that <clears throat> and then it's also got an auxiliary uh, port for a cable if you were to plug in like a you know some type of device that doesn't have uh, you uh, bluetooth so uh, a lot of you know a few options there like i said the micro sd thing would have been interesting because we were in a spot that didn't have great service um, it would have been interesting to to pop that in there and, and try it and see what it did uh, but i didn't even kind of think about it uh, when i first packed when i charged it and packed it up uh, it lasted, uh, it, it, it lasted, you know, 36 holes or just about, I think I, I played a hole 18 with it. Uh, and then I also did, uh, you know, the, the, the last day, I think I fired it up a few holes in. So, uh, I at least got, you know, say 30 holes in, uh, by the time, uh, at least 30 holes, uh, I got in. Uh, so it did last that long. My wingman will last 36, it seems like, um, you know, and then a lot of times I try to plug them into the cart if they have the USB uh, ports in the cart uh, garland does not at the moment but uh this one here like i said lasted uh, at least 30 holes for me uh, between two days like i said used it uh, in the afternoon 18 and then on sunday i uh, I, I threw it in there and again started it up a little late because we teed off super early and i just you know kind of forgot about it until <laughs> like the you know the um like the six hole or something like that so uh like i said love the mounting options uh the sound quality is good the one thing I will say that's interesting about the sound quality is like the volume size. Like when you hit the volume up uh, or down, the range between those two volume, you know, that you know, one down or one up is kind of big. Um, I feel like sometimes you're, you know, trying to find that sweet spot of, <clears throat> excuse me, find that sweet spot of like how loud you need the speaker to be. You know, you want to hear it and you, all that, but you also don't want to, you know, be blasting it all across the, you know, the golf course. Um, and it felt like. You know, zero to one, and then one to two, or whatever the the number is on in terms of volume. It was just a big jump. You know, you went from like barely hear it to kind of loud to really loud if you went up again. And it was just you know the the increments aren't as precise as uh, as the wingman. You're the, able to dial the volume in on the wingman, I think, a little better. Uh, this is just you know decently loud. Uh, but again, the sound quality is pretty solid. I think depending on you know what you're listening to. Um, you know, like I said, I was listening to kind of a little of everything and all of it sounded pretty darn decent. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll give the slight edge to the wingman. If you're really looking for like pure audio quality or whatever, I'll give the slight advantage to the wingman. But, uh, I think this thing worked really well. Uh, like I said, the, the you know, time, the battery life was, was fairly decent. Uh, and I like the fact that you could kind of mount it anywhere. And, and like I said, I'm excited to see if I can mount it onto my, uh, my push cart. Cause the wingman doesn't wear my push cart. It's either... Maybe it's made out of aluminum, whatever. It does not, the, the magnet doesn't work uh, on it. So I have to like, I would have to either put it in the cup holder and, you know, not put my water bottle there uh, or find some other way to mount it uh, on my push cart. This one here is, uh, you know, I, I'd be able to 
easily clamp it onto one of the one of the many uh, bars on the uh, on the uh, on the push cart. So we'll see how that mounts, uh, and I'll give that a whirl and see. But uh, I'm going to try that today because, like I said, didn't even think about it. But overall, it's a pretty good unit. I mean, I went on their site just to see if there was anything you know that I needed to kind of talk about, whatever. Um, you know, like I said, it's pretty simple uh, in terms of what it does. Um, it's it's definitely cheaper uh, than the Wingman. Right now they have some you know save twenty dollar type thing, so it's it's eighty bucks. It's seventy nine ninety seven at the moment. The regular price is ninety nine bucks, so definitely a little cheaper than the Wingman. Granted, it doesn't have any GPS or anything like that built into it, but uh, overall, if you're looking for just a, a decent speaker that that you can mount on a golf cart pretty darn easily, um, and it kind of stays out of the way and all that. Uh, I think it's a good option, you know, especially, you know, if you're looking for just, you know, 79 bucks, it's not going to take up one of the cup holders. I know some people have the, excuse me, like the JBL, the small JBL speakers, they'll just throw them in a cup holder. Um, but if you don't want to take up a cup holder spot uh, or anything like that, this thing, uh, like I said, will mount just about anywhere uh, on that cart. Excuse me. So it'll, um, you know, it's pretty versatile that way. Like I said, the directional thing is pretty cool. Like I said, you can point it out, you can point it in. Um, you can pretty much point it anywhere and uh, and be able to kind of listen to the music, your music, the way you would like to uh, on the course. Um, but like I said, for for eighty bucks right now, it seems pretty decent. You know, longevity, battery, you know, overall long term battery life, all that. Uh, I, I don't know. Like I said, I just literally got it, so uh, I haven't beat it up too badly yet. Uh, but you know, from the way it seems to be built, I, I think it should be pretty decent. It should hold up to a few uh, a few bumps and, and and shocks there. And it says it's got a five foot fall rating uh, is what it's rated for is five feet again i have not uh, uh have not dropped it thankfully um, and i have not uh, <laughs> beat it up too badly but uh, their site says uh, drop proof up to five feet they also make a bigger version than this so this is just the the bluetooth speaker the v3 um the v3 pro and then they make a v3 v3 pro max which is like double the size so it's just like wider um that thing looks really big this one I think size-wise, it's pretty compact. It fits just about anywhere. Like I said, you can toss it in the side pocket of your bag pretty easily. The big one, the Max, uh, it, it looks pretty big. I mean, I don't understand why you would need to go that crazy uh, in terms of uh, something that large, but, you know, th they do make it. So I guess if you're really, really looking to jam out, um, they do make the bigger one, the Max, uh, but this one here, like I said, works pretty well. And I think, honestly, if, if, you, if you just, you know, you have one Bluetooth speaker that you use, uh, I, I can see where this would work like down at the beach if you had like an umbrella or something like that you can attach it right to the umbrella maybe your patio furniture that clamp could you know attach onto your umbrella there um, it could attach onto a beach chair and I mean like I said anything that has either a, uh, a square rectangular or um, or round kind of you know pull on it support uh, it should fit I don't know how crazy big it gets I mean I, I don't think it'll I don't know if it'll fit on like on a fence pole type size but it does get decently large well I guess not crazy, crazy huge, but uh, it, it gets decent. I mean, that should fit on, you know, most most supports out there it should fit on. It gets decently large. I mean, it, it, I don't think it's going to fit on a fence post uh, or something like that, but there's a lot of places that you can uh, can fit this thing. So, you know, even if you're using it outside of the golf or, you know golf world, I think uh, you'd be able to find a spot to, to mount that thing to, uh, you know, wherever you're, you're hanging out or, or using it. So... Pretty uh, interesting uh, unit there. Like I said, I was uh, I, I liked it so far. Uh, I'm gonna try it again and, and mess with it. I gotta charge it up uh, now. Just thinking about it, uh, I gotta find my USB C cable uh, <laughs> somewhere. I had I think I tossed it in one of the golf bags to uh, to bring with me on the trip. So I gotta figure out where uh, where I put it. But it's it's in one of these golf bags. So um, yeah, if you're looking for a Bluetooth speaker, like I said, the Amcade seems to be pretty decent. It seems to be well built. And for 80 bucks, I don't think it's too bad of a deal, uh, even if it's something that you use uh, off the golf course as well. So uh, if you want to check that out, uh, just go to ampcaddy.com. It's A-M-P-C-A-D-D-Y. Um, but you know, like I said, pretty uh, pretty interesting piece. Uh, like I said, so not something I expected to talk about. Uh, I kind of forgot that I even won it. So, But it uh, it showed up, and uh, I've, I've used it a few times, and so far been uh, been pretty pleased with it. So... And it's easy to pair up. I mean, you basically just turn it on, and on your phone, you look at the Bluetooth settings and connect to it. It's it's pretty simple, so uh, nothing too uh, too difficult there. But uh, but yeah, that is the the Amp Caddy uh, Bluetooth, the Golf Bluetooth speaker, the V3 Max or V or V3 Pro. Sorry, the V3 Pro. Um, the Max is the big old one. So 
like I said, check it out if you're interested or you're looking for something. Uh, it's definitely, I guess, uh, worth at least taking a look at and seeing if it's a viable option for you. Um, that's kind of all I got for, for reviews today. Um, you know, I've, uh, like I said, I've got stuff that I'm going to play today and, and finish up for next week. And then uh, I've got a few things after that. So uh, there's some stuff coming. I just, uh, I'm kind of limited today. So excited to play. Like I said, today I think, uh, you know, I think I kind of went over my what's in the bag. I think Tacoma Irons, uh, they sent four through pitch. So I've, I've got the full set there. And then, uh, like I said, I'll probably go, I'll probably go my, my Sim 2 Max 3 wood. It's just been kind of my guy lately. I just, I've been hitting it really, you know, more consistent than any other three what I've got. And then, uh, you know, like I said, uh, we'll probably go Rogue SD Max LS Driver with the TR Red and then High Toe, high toe 3 Wedges. So, um, and then probably, I, I'll just say, like I said, i got to see if I'm playing front or back nine and that'll determine if I'm playing the um, the front nine, I'll go 7 Wood. If I'm playing the back nine, I'll probably go, uh, go Hybrid. So, um, or I'm sorry, vice versa. If, I, if we're playing the front nine, I'll probably go Hybrid. If we're playing the back nine, I'll probably go 7 Wood. Um, the front nine is just not, there's not a lot of holes I, to, to hit seven. Like, everything off the tee there is, is, is short, so I'm either hitting an iron or a hybrid or whatever. And seven wood's great, but it doesn't quite go as far as the hybrid, so uh, I'll take a little more distance off the tee with the hybrid. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I just got to log in and see uh, see what I'm playing. I got to see what time I'm teeing off. All that jazz. I, like I said, it feels like I haven't been there forever. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. So... Uh, listen, I know this one's a little short. Uh, I, I apologize. Oh, also, uh, uh, if you if you want, definitely check out. Uh, we're doing a giveaway for Aventus TR. Um, you know, we're doing Aventus TR Red, TR Black, your choice. Go to my Instagram page at Club Junkie Pod. Uh, have to be following Fujikura Golf. Have to be following Club Junkie Pod. Got to tag three buddies uh, that you're going to hit it by when you win uh, your TR. But yeah, you get to pick red or black. Pick your weight. Pick your flex. Um, you know, brand new shafts, they are awesome. So definitely go check out at Club Junkie Pod. The post is there. It's ending tomorrow, so definitely get in and uh, and get signed up if you haven't yet because you'll want the shaft. Trust me, you're gonna want you're gonna want one of those shafts. So definitely get in there and uh, and do that. So uh, again, hopefully you guys have a great week. Again, sorry I got kind of short here today, but uh, we'll get back at it hard uh, next week. So. Have a great week. Uh, have a great weekend. Hopefully you get out there, play some golf, and uh, we'll talk to you next week.